video is a tapping video for anxiety or stress around moving. Clearly, I am anxious to start this one since I already started tapping even before I introduced this video. <laughs> uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And before beginning, as anxiously as I did, go ahead and rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10 one being the least and 10 being the most concerned uh, or worried or stressed around moving. And we'll go ahead and tap right into it. Join me when you're ready. Even though I feel super stressed about moving because moving is one of the worst things ever devised on this planet, <laughs> I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I would rather not be moving because moving is super triggering in general, it's a kind of upheaval that just feels like it's kind of ridden to disrupt. Even though I feel stressed about even the sense of disruption on the horizon, I deeply love and accept myself. One of the seeming facts of life is that whenever we're in the middle of something, it's always uncomfortable. There's like where you are and where you're heading and that middle area is always like, Ugh, I just want to get there or stay here. So even though this sense of liminality or being in the midst of things super stressful. <laughs> I deeply love and accept myself and will find the areas in my body that require the most release. If there's any particular areas where you feel a lot of stress or tension, I tend to get around the neck so I do extra tapping around there. But feel free to tap where your fingers desire. Even though I feel super stressed about the prospect of moving, I deeply love and accept myself. Even though I don't have really anything figured out in terms of moving, or maybe I have some things figured out, or maybe I have a sense of things that could figure into the figuring out, I deeply love and accept myself. And know that I can breathe deeply into my body, into my belly as I tap. Even though moving is inherently stressful, I know it's a survivable circumstance. I've moved a lot of times, which means I am probably one of the more adept people at moving. And even though moving is one of those stressful things, perhaps it doesn't need to be as stressful as it's been in the past for me. Consider, maybe there are things we can all do to make this next move the best move ever <laughs> compared to all the other moves. There are ways of mitigating moving stress. You can start packing early, line up a moving truck early, really align all the dates, figure out what movers or people who might be able to help in the move. If you're seeking an apartment and your housing just fell through last night, then you can start researching uh, to find uh, other housing. You can reach out to friends to see if they know of places. Wherever you go, wherever we all go, I think the best thing we can do is consider that we're going to end up in the best place for us. So even though I feel super stressed and concerned. I'm not going to make the right moves throughout this move. 
There's a part of me that knows that stress is unnecessary and not helpful and is not protective as my body seems to think it is. And I know that I don't need to go into fight or flight while moving. It's just unnecessary. <laughs> I would rather close my eyes and imagine the best move I've ever had. And you can do that too. Imagine what would the best move look like for you? What would it be like if everything just went more smoothly than it's ever gone before? That all aspects of the moving, packing is easy. Maybe you have a packing party with friends to have some help while you gather your home together. Maybe you binge a show while you pack. Maybe you organize to such a degree that you know exactly where everything needs to go when you start packing. And then when you get to your new home, you know exactly how to unpack for the quickest and most efficient method. Wouldn't that be nice? That sounds like, sounds like a pretty relaxing move. What else can go right for this move? Maybe you find the most beautiful home you've lived in yet. Maybe it blows all those other homes you lived in out of the park. It's in a really beautiful area. It's in a walkable area in a beautiful city with good health things and nice air quality <laughs> and a lot of art and people you can vibe with and healthy, fun things you can do. Maybe it'll be the most inspiring place you've ever lived for your creativity. What other things can you look forward to because of this move? Maybe there were some things about the home you currently live in and maybe you're kind of excited not to have to deal with them anymore. Maybe we can also acknowledge some gratitude for the home you did live in. What were your favorite things about your home? Was it a balcony where you could see the stars? Was it the way you organized your apartment with furniture exactly how you wanted? Little stylistic touches that brought little joy each day. <sighs> maybe, maybe it's the way you lined up your books or how you set up your desk. Maybe it's the memories you had in the home. Sometimes it's hard to leave a place behind. Places carry so much in terms of memory and emotions and it's like, it's almost like we leave an imprint on the places we've lived and they leave imprints on us. So each time you live in a new place, it's kind of like you take kind of ornament of that place and it goes right inside you behind your rib cage or somewhere in there <laughs> and even though it feels sad to say goodbye to cities and states and countries and houses and apartments and bedrooms even bathrooms I have a nice bathtub where I live <laughs> even though there is kind of a, that sense of sadness at the thought of departure and at the actual departure we can still love ourselves through through that departure. So even though a part of me really dreads the departure and the process of departing, I deeply love and appreciate myself. I deeply love and appreciate that I gave myself a beautiful home or I gave myself a home that worked for now or I gave myself a home that worked at some point. Sometimes when we leave a place, it's not the best circumstances and sometimes we have some regrets. So here's some space to process that too. For anything that didn't go exactly how we wanted, I deeply love and appreciate myself despite that. I deeply love and accept all the selves I was while I lived here. 
and I deeply love and acknowledge the self I am today. I got through those things that got through this period of my life and its imperfections and its joys and sorrows and everything else. Even though some things didn't work out in this home, that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of things that can work out in the next home. And even though I've had times in my life and other homes and places where sad things have happened or that weren't the best circumstances, I can deeply love and appreciate myself and acknowledge that those times are gone, those homes are gone, I'm not there, I'm here. Here's a safer outlook, here's a happier outlook. When we do emotional freedom tapping, we really, we really empower ourselves to change the state of being. It's like meditation or exercise or eating something that's like a mood booster. Sometimes we feel kind of leashed by our own emotions. But one of the wonderful things about emotional freedom tapping is that sense that your feelings can be fleeting as long as you acknowledge them. So even though I have some stresses about moving and those stresses might come up again and again, I deeply acknowledge, respect, and love myself, especially for giving this time for tapping to myself right now. And I know that if I feel stressed out again, I can come tap, tap away <laughs> for another EFT session. And I'm going to take a deep breath into my belly. I'm going to release my hands from the tapping. And go ahead and tune into yourself. Is your number lower from the beginning of this video to now? Let me know what your number did. Did it go up? Did it go down? Hopefully it did. And um, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If there's an emotion or a situation you would like processed, leave a comment below. I'm happy to take requests for that or any videos. See y'all next time. Take care.